Guys, one piece of bad news on the medical what? front over the weekend, and you know what I'm talking about. Talk about Biogen? I'm talking about Biogen uh, with the uh, potential Alzheimer's drug. We talked about it Friday. Remember, the stock was halted, but it was only a couple of days prior to that that we thought, given the quote that we got from the FDA staff in terms of their look at the application that was being submitted for approval, that we thought this thing's going to get approved. Uh, but the FDA advisory panel, and by the way, it's the FDA that decides, but it's advisory panel's advise it, and it more often than not takes their advice, came out strongly against giving approval to Biogen's Alzheimer's drug, saying it basically failed to show effectiveness. What I'm referring to from the FDA comments, and I had tweeted about this because it was conceivably a very good piece of news, was them saying things like this, the effect of a aducanumab in study 302 is robust and exceptionally persuasive on several of the instruments used to evaluate efficacy. But what did the panel say? Well, almost the ex opposite. Yeah, that was crazy. They voted eight to one against, too uncertain on the question of does this study viewed independently without regard provide strong evidence that supports the effectiveness of it for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease? And they said resoundingly no. It's hard to imagine the FDA would approve a drug where you had that from an advisory panel. Terrible day for Biogen and a terrible day for all those people and all those family members who suffer from this horrible disease. I was shocked at this. I, I felt that uh, how could you have such diametrically opposed smart people? Yeah. Uh, and why would I think that the FDA was closer to this than the panel, David? We got, I mean, and investors, of course, really got head faked here. You know, everybody looked at those quotes, and that wasn't the only one. There were other very positive ones in terms of when you looked at the application and the FDA's position, which was a part of it, they would have sort of, you got the sense that, oh, wow, they're very, very positive on this. Um, and so you did not go into that advisory panel meeting with the expectation it would be resoundingly, no, this is not effective. Uh, and Jim, is it the last word, David? Is there more? Well, I mean, I'm looking at a lot of the research notes this morning, and almost all of them anticipate that it will be years before they can really come back without clinical. They need additional clinical data, and that could take years if they choose to do it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.